Forte University students gathered to speak with one voice against violence against women. They are calling for solar-powered lighting on the path to and from campus on top of the increased police visibility. The campus has a no alcohol policy and this forces students to go into town for entertainment. They want this policy scrapped. Student Representative Council has um, put out a statement in which they ask that um, the university opens a bar and a food court um, on campus in order to ensure the safety of students so that students can go to a place of entertainment without leaving the safety of campus. Um, unfortunately, we still have a no alcohol policy at, at, um, in place at the university at the moment. Those who have survived attacks outside campus count themselves lucky. The incident was so traumatizing. I don't even remember what had happened, but I remember there were four guys, one with a gun and three with knives. They wanted to stab us, but gay, our friend, uh, we also like to go to the mayor's office in terms of service delivery, ensuring our safety as students in his community. We would like for him to make sure that we have functioning lights in that bridge as it is a problem area and it, uh, it has been a scene for many crimes in this community. Um, if ever there are lights, sufficient working lights, then there won't be um, there will be a limit, I believe, in the crimes that take place there and then if you could get back up as well in order to counter the issue of load shedding. No one has been arrested for the latest incident. Abungile Yankees, SABC News, Alice.